exhaustion. Another day. Another trip. To my rehearsal room. I have to practice something new because yesterday at our <laughs> uh, group rehearsal I was invited, I'll call it, um, to start training so that I could uh, replace the pipe sergeant uh, when, whenever we have uh, a gig and maybe the other ones who usually do it can't make it. So now on top of everything else uh, I've got one more job that I have to practice for. Uh, it was my understanding yesterday that I'm doing this voluntarily and I <laughs> uh, I volunteered for it, but okay, wasn't my idea, but I'll give it a go, should be some good fun. It's quite interesting, when you start learning the bagpipes, it's so difficult to coordinate hands, breath and everything. Fingers, of course, when you're playing. Later on, the next level is when you start uh, just walking, marching while you're playing. And it may sound quite silly, but it's incredible how difficult playing becomes just because you have to move your feet not even fast or anything but just keep your feet in the rhythm it's, it throws the whole thing off and uh, so now on top of everything else i have to make sure that i'm really uh, giving signals to to the band to everyone in the band they'll be looking at me they will be looking to me for direction it will be my job to, to, to keep the rhythm, which we do by, by stamping, well not stamping, but by, by, by raising the leg up and down, like so. Fascinating stuff, I know. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yes, so, so, so that's one thing I have to do, and although I, I, don't, I don't practice that on my own as much, so this is an additional hurdle that I have to get over trying to stay in rhythm and uh, and also when we get towards the end of the song you have to signal everyone just to make sure they realize you know this is the end of the song and then to do so our signal is that uh, the pipe sergeant walks forward a few steps sort of into the middle of the circle if we're standing in a circle but anyway just a few steps forward and that gives a signal to everyone and again this is something new it's just a few steps but try it out yesterday and it's, it's so complicated uh, when you're actually doing it. It must look silly I and mean, people may think it's so easy but to me at least it isn't. Anyway, so that's what I'll be practicing today. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Don't worry, uh, I hope you don't, didn't think you were going to see me practicing over and over again just some silly start and stops <laughs> for the songs. Don't worry, I won't do that to you. I might show off at some point but uh, that won't be before I can really do it. But I will give you a song nonetheless today. It's a quick march, no, quick march, it's a, it's a march which means it's a song that's a bit faster, a bit quicker. It's called Castle Dangerous, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, that's it for today from the rehearsal room. Uh, I'm now off to the Bisamberg, a mountain just outside Vienna. 
ball mountain. I think it's about 350 meters high, I'm not quite sure, I'd have to look that up. Anyway, I'm off there to fly my drone once again. The weather's great today, it's very sunny, it's not too windy or wind-wise, it was a bit stormy this week. Um, but it should be fine now, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get some great drone shots. Now that I've been practicing in the past few weeks, I'll be able to fly it a bit. Hopefully they'll be good, and hopefully what comes now are great drone shots. See you there. Car is parked. Now we're off to find a good spot to fly the drone. As I said before, it's a great day, good weather, the sky's looking very clear, and the landscape is already great. Just need to find a good spot. See you later. Found our first spot here. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not sure what's in the area, but uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, trying out, I got brand new propeller guards to help keep the drone a bit more safe, or at least make sure that the, the propellers last a little bit longer. Looks quite nice, actually. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, I made two amateurish mistakes here. The first one was that I left the gimbal protector on the drone, uh, which you have to remove so that it can, the, the it by it, I mean the camera, so that the camera can move around freely. The second thing I did was that after removing the gimbal protector, I forgot to record the video. So I was flying about with the drone for several minutes without recording it. So unfortunately, you will be not seeing much here, but I moved on to a second spot later on and the footage of that still exists. <laughs> okay, done some shots. Let's see if we can find a different location for some other impressions. It's a view of Vienna by the way, what I just showed you. So I'm hoping that's where we're going, we're going in that direction. Because hopefully we'll be able to get a really good view of the city when we're over there. Still a lovely day. Very good. I'm very happy with the guards. Work quite well, they're very easy to put on. So I definitely recommend them for now at least. I've only had one short flight though, so I don't know how durable they are. Anyway, here goes flight number two.
I've got anything for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's not bad, is it? Made some new friends as well, anyway. <laughs> okay, that's me actually finished now. I'll be heading back to the car. Then I'm off home. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Wouldn't mind if you like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.